Welcome back to Power in Politics and the Power Panel with Brad Levine, Yolan James, and Rachel Curran. The political parties, of course, are gearing up for that election we were just talking about, some a little quicker than others. CTV is reporting the Conservatives have 313 candidates in place. Maxime Bernier's People's Party of Canada is in second place with 278 nominated. The Liberals are third with 221. Then it's the Green Party with 134. And finally, the NDP with 115. Yolanda, I'll start with you. Is there anything to read into that? <laughs> Well, I mean, there are indicators that to, to know for election readiness that I always look at, and candidates are, are an important one. Like the, the Conservatives were very um, good at getting their message out and of having, uh, being the front runner in the number of their announced candidates and an increased presence uh, of, of women. Um, that's a, a positive thing. So, but among those issues, yes, you want to make sure you have your candidates ready to go, that your leader is ready to campaign, uh, but fundraising is also an important uh, uh, an important factor because yes you want to tell your story and and obviously be able to convince Canadians that you have the best program and policy to put in place but if you have no money to be able to tell that that that's something that can be that can be a concern and I uh, and looking at those factors um, uh, I, for conservatives obviously things are going well I would say for the Liberal Party as well considering that they have a different process with respect to uh, nominations as opposed to uh, uh, appointing um, uh, candidates. Um, for Jagmeet Singh, clearly things are a lot more are difficult um, in terms of, uh, of those factors. And even that, 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 that today's headline is that he's only attended one fundraiser. You shouldn't be on defense mode right now. You should be showing people that you're ready to go and to convince people to make you the next prime minister of the country. Brad, what do you read into uh, the stats? And, and what, um, what Yolanda is referring to is an article from HuffPost Canada via Althea Raj, who says that, uh, that that Mr. Singh has done one ticketed fundraiser this year and tickets were That's $25. Right. Well, the, okay, let's, so let's, let's, let's certainly discuss that, that headline and that story. Because it gives the impression that he's only been to one fundraising event uh, since January. That is patently false. Picketed, in fact, I know right? two friends uh, in Toronto who have held events at their own homes uh, for friends and uh, and folks, uh, neighbors, uh, at which at which funds were raised. The difference here, and this is this is actually in the story, but it's lost because the headline is so fundamentally torqued, uh, is that. The New Democratic Party of Canada has chosen not just to hold events at which you pay for access. That is, the, you can come and meet the leader, sit down with the leader, talk policy, ask questions, and you don't have to give them $1,600 like you do uh, for Mr. Shear or for... The director uh, of Operations says, we bring donors and supporters together to speak with him, ask him questions, and listen to his vision. We don't believe anyone should have to pay admission for this. You privilege. don't You don't have to pay. Yet, yet at, just, just two friends of mine in the, in the, in the, in the Toronto area... Tens of thousands of dollars are raised at these events, but they're not the same as the Liberals, who actually also in the story talks about how you can pay $1,200 to meet with one of the ministers. Now that's that's a fundamental difference. So would would, would I like more money in the bank uh, for Jagmeet Singh's campaign? Absolutely. But from time to time, there are principles that that you that you stand by, and you say we're actually going to invite people to meet with the leader, and we're going to we are going to raise funds from those, but you don't have to pay to meet your leader, and that's a fundamental difference between the New Democrats and the other parties. But does that mean that the New Democrats ultimately end up raising less money? I mean, right now they are raising less. Right. Money. Yeah. Well, I, I, I wish it would work. But, you know, but at the same time, though, you, you know full well that, you know, to, to, to meet with a minister of Trudeau's government, you got to pay oh, 1200 bucks. Oh, or, or whatever God. the whatever the price is. I don't know if it's oh, that. Well, look, that's to be fair, a deflection. Nice try, but I don't think to, so. To be fair, there has been a lot of questions about cash for access, but that's not fair, the case with every minister. That's not the case. That's not the case in every case for every fundraiser either. No, it's either. not. It's not. To be fair, there have been questions about it, but it's not always the case. No. Rachel, well, yeah. Look, look, I, look, I, look. But that's a, let's get Rachel in here, guys. We're running out of time. Look, that's a valiant effort by Brad, but the reality is, no one wants to pay to see Jagmeet Singh. Like, I don't want to be mean about it, but he's not able to raise money because people aren't willing to pay $1,600 to go hear him. He's done a terrible job of outlining his vision for governing, about why he's running, about why he wants to be the prime minister and the national leader, and that's why the NDP are lagging so far behind. In fact, in most polls, they're lagging behind the Green Party. No, so the reality is, not, like, not, not, Rachel, not we'll charging for fundraisers. Maybe, but I mean, please don't say that. That's not true. You know that. <laughs> well, look, I, I, I like Jagmeet you know Singh. I, I, look, I like Jagmeet Singh. I like the, I'd like to see them do better. But the reality is they are not connected 
connecting with voters and they're not able to charge for these fundraisers because no one's going to go to them. Is that, is, but, but what about to play devil's advocate? Is it, I mean, this idea of having to pay to meet the leader, is that, is there, a, is there some sort of a defense there? I take your point, obviously, on the Well, I, th- overall, I think, but. yeah, I think you want to pay to hear the leader's vision in the context of an election campaign. These folks are now all running to be the prime minister of the country. Yeah, you want to hear them outline their vision for the country and what they're proposing to do if you elect them to that position. So I think it's fair enough to charge some kind of fee for that. I think that's very different from cash for access to government ministers, which we've seen the Liberals do repeatedly. But I think in the context of an election campaign, this is a bit different. Yeah, I take your point on the cash for access. Yolanda, I'll give you the final word. However, well, there is a different level of trend. I mean, given the scrutiny and the controversy that ensued over cash for access, at least there's a there's a different uh, transparency around reporting those and allowing yeah. media access to them. Okay, so we can have the discussion about reporting those, how it happens, the, the, the amount that we charge people for fundraising, and, um, and and so forth. That's that's one thing. But to um, to say that the whole reason um, that they're not raising money or that Jagmeet Singh went to one fundraiser is because the NDP has just totally changed their whole strategy and that they're not charging people for money anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't think that anybody, or is it because we want to be able to do that? I'm sorry, if you look at uh, whether it be the prime minister himself or even go down the list of, of ministers in the current governments and do activities, yes, there's fundraising activities, but they're certainly, especially criticized even by a lot of people for being very accessible to the to, to, to the public, free of charge for a number of events. So, I mean, if Jagmeet Singh is having difficult raising money, that's one thing, at least come out and say that, and that happens in histories of the party. The Liberal Party of Canada has had their, uh, had their just struggles too, but don't deflect that on on uh, other uh, parties' fundraising All practices. Right, I, I don't think that's I gotta go, I'm out of time. Thank you, everyone. Thanks to the panel. Thank panel. Thanks, Thanks to Brad Patrick. Levine, Yolande James, and Rachel Curran. Hi, I'm Vashi Capellos, host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video. Thanks for watching.